Hello everyone and welcome back to Anxious Beauty. Today we're going to test out some new to me makeup. Let's get started. Alright guys, so this video is not sponsored in any way, it's just me and my opinions. I did not have enough makeup for a full face, but I do have a couple of different things I wanted to show you guys and I figured I could combine it all into one video instead of just trying it out individually. Um, so I did take the liberty to put on the stuff that I already have, but I will run through it with you real quick. I use the M or Wet n Wild Impossible Primer here for face primer. And then I use the uh, Studio Makeup Tinted Moisturizer. With this it also has hyaluronic acid in it. I kind of use that as a substitute foundation. I use the Maybelline New York Last Sensational Mascara. This is like their little mini version. I use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover uh, Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair Porcelain. I use the I Heart Revolution uh, Matte Lipstick in the shade. What shade are you? Gingerbread. This is like one of their holiday collections. And then, as always, so that way I can use it up before I move on to a different eye primer, I use the Pretty Vulgar Unchained Eyeshadow. And I think we are all up to speed on everything. I wanted to do that just to kind of get all that stuff out of the way first. Now we can get to the new stuff here. So the first thing I am going to do is I think I'm going to focus on eyes. Here I have this that I got like forever ago and just never used till now. This is the uh, Vizard. Vizard? Vizard? Hopefully I'm saying that right. Professional Makeup Paris um, eyeshadow palette here. This is in the uh, neutral matte, so they're all mattes. But I figured we could pair it with this. This is just one eyeshadow, but this is Dose of Color in the shade Reflection, maybe? But that's what it looks like here. But this is a shimmer, so I figured we could put this on top of it. But it is a small one. But this is called Block Party Eyeshadow. Reflection. That's what it is. The name of it. Reflection here. And this is what the shade looks like. It's actually really cute. It has a little mirror in there too. Like look how cute it is. Bitty bitty. Anything mini is just like adorable. It is a darker shade but. So it does come out looking like this but then. So, depending on how much you use and come out dark like that, and that is an awful swatch, I'm so sorry guys. Or depending on how light you go, and you blend it out, it could be lighter too. So kind of however you want to do it. Let me just wipe off my hand here real quick. But I figured we could pair that with one of these, or a couple of these mattes that I put on. Okay, and then let me show you this here. But look how nice that is. Like, that is just laid out so nice and clean and pretty. So there's all those colors. Definitely a neutral palette, which is fine. Feel like neutrals today anyway. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a blending brush here and I think I'm gonna kinda just stick with the browns today. Obviously this is mostly browns, but I'm gonna go in with this color right here and I'm just gonna put that all over the, or both my eyes, just to kind of build up color. I mean, it's almost like my skin tone. You could definitely tell it's there though. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you get close enough. Then I'm going to wipe this brush off because I'm going to use it again. I'm going to go in with, I'm thinking, <sighs> mm, let's see, this color all over the eye right here, it does not have a name, but that is alright. 
And actually, I'm going to mix it with this one right here, too. So we are going to mix here. Okay, so this is how it's going. Now I am going to go in. I'm thinking I'm going to switch gears here. I know I didn't use much out of this palette here, but I did want to show you guys that. And then we're going to go in with this little Dose of Colors one. Maybe. There we go. And just very lightly tap it. Eye here just to add a little bit of shimmer there. Oh, that is actually a really pretty combination. I like that. Same thing on the other side. It's pretty. And then I'm going to take just a clean blending brush and just kind of blend this out a little bit more. All right. So there's how we're looking. And guys, I think I am done. I know I didn't get the chance to really use much out of this palette, but I really do like this color a lot. You can use it alone or with another um, eyeshadow. I prefer to use it with another eyeshadow unless I'm feeling like extremely simple that day. But this is very nice. I do like this a lot. And like I was saying, I know I didn't get to use so many or as many colors out of this, but I do like this as well. Sorry, I was just checking sure make my make sure my mic was on. And it is. So I do like this and I'm gonna use this a lot more. Especially on those days where I don't feel like doing like very much eyeshadow. Moving on here, we're gonna still stick with eyes. Now this is probably gonna be like looking really weird, but it's alright. We're just gonna experiment today. This is the Cleo Noir Twist Up Eyeliner and <laughs> I got this in a giveaway that I had won, and this is in the shade. It says mechanical eyeliner. Well, that doesn't help me. Just open it up here. Um, purple. Doesn't have a name apparently, but it is purple. There's a little purple end right there. So yeah, just do a quick swatch on that real quick. These are like my favorite eyeliners, by the way. Okay, that's pretty. Kind of like a dark purple. Could be cute. Let's try it. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up on my eyes, but I guess we'll find out. Okay. So, probably isn't the best job I've ever done. And you guys can probably like barely see it, but it is there. It's actually super pretty, just, I don't know. I'm gonna have to work on my eyelining skills a little bit more. It is nice though, I do like it. I'm just gonna fix my lighting here real quick. There we go, that's a little bit better. Now I don't look like I'm getting blinded by the light here. There we go, it looked like underneath my eyes, there was like rings around my eyes, but I fixed it. All right, now we are moving on to this. This is the Hydrating Complexion Trio by Almar, Almar, I believe is how you say that. So I think a lot of these are gonna be too dark for me as bronzer, but I am gonna try this one in Sol. Tra, Sultra. This one right here in just a light hand. They're nice. It's just I think my complexion may be, or they may be too dark for my complexion. I might be able to make that one work though. We'll try it. So. It's actually not terrible. I have sparkles like all over my under eyes here. Alright, not bad.
that, I think I can make that work. Moving on. That one isn't terrible. Let me just see what this one looks like at the end here. So there's that one there on the end. I think that one would just be too dark for my complexion. But this lighter one here, I think it said to use that one for like your under eyes to brighten it up. Yeah, use the brightest shade. So it would be that one there on the end. I'm woke is the name. Uh, to illuminate under the eyes, the bronzer shade to add warmth to on the perimeter of face, and a deeper shade to kind of like depth around the cheekbones, forehead, and jaw, which is always summer. So cool! I can I can make one of those work at least. All right, and then our final product we're gonna try. This is the Ulta Beauty Blush and Highlighter Trio. Um, it doesn't have a name. It's just the highlight in blush trio here that's all right i probably should have opened this up before i told you guys so um, there we go so that's what it looks like about plastic it looks pretty a nice blush shade i like that so you can layer it but it's like right there and then the highlight shade is a gold. I typically go for like the icy or the white, but that's all right. Ooh, it's definitely gold. It's all right. That is just fine. All right, so I'm gonna use this for the blush side first. Tap some of that off, that was a lot. Ooh, I like that blush color. I'm gonna put some on the end of my nose for the heck of it. And then I am gonna take a sponge here and just kinda tap that out a little bit better. Highlighting brush here. Go down my nose. This brush is actually too flimsy. I'm gonna try a different one. There we go. This one'll be better. That other brush was just not working for what I wanted it to do. All right, and then let me just blend it out here a little bit better. Besides all the sparkle I have underneath my eye now, but or eyes now, but that's all right. Okay, guys, and that was the final thing. I tried to save all my opinions till the end here, but I failed at doing that. I actually really like this blush and highlight trio. Um, I didn't think I'd like the gold highlight too much. I typically go for like the, um white or the icy highlight but i actually surprised myself and really do like this a lot and i love the blush this is probably my favorite item that we tried today love this recommend that the eyeliner um i'm gonna have to work on it a little bit more i don't think it's the eyeliner's fault i just think i chose too dark of a color but it is a really nice eyeliner and it, um i do like the color a lot i'm just gonna have to work with it a little bit more my eyeliner skills kind of suck so we're gonna keep practicing with that, but it's not bad. This I liked. It was really nice, that single shimmer eyeshadow. It's just that the uh, glitter kind of got underneath my eyes too and it does get everywhere. So my personal opinion, I would, um, I like it. I just go in with a light hand because you can kind of make it lighter or darker depending on how much you want to swatch it and go over it, you can layer it. Um, I go in with a light hand on this, but I do like it a lot. The bronze, the bronzer in here, I know I've only tried one, but I actually do like it if you go in with a um, very slight hand here. Um, it's actually not too terrible. I do like it, and I would probably use the middle shade again. I typically don't 
brighten up my under eyes too often so I don't know how often I'm going to use this shade and I think unfortunately this shade might be just a little bit too dark for my skin tone but it is really nice so I will probably stick with this middle one good to have though my favorite will always be the L'Oreal Paris uh bronzer though I love that uh, this, I know I didn't get to use too much of this either, but the colors that I did use in it, I actually really liked. It's good to carry around on those days where I just do not want to put on too much eyeshadow. You guys know I like my colorful eyeshadow. But some days, I have my days where I'm just like, I want neutral. So this is a good option to have. I actually really like the layout in this. This is like, I don't know, it makes me feel like maybe like the celebrities use this or makeup professional makeup artists use this for some reason i don't know if that's true or not it's just in my brain like the way it's laid out it just looks cool i'm holding it upside down i'm so sorry clean and laid out i do like this a lot and it's not too big either so it doesn't take up too much room on my shelf which is awesome too but like i was saying all in all my favorite ultra beauty blush and highlighter trio love it so thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me a lot, and I appreciate it. If you want to see more of me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell over there to see future uploads from me. We'd love to have you here. We have fun here. And as always, guys, thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, and just watching my videos. It does mean the world to me. That's going to be it for me today. I'm going to go ahead and head out for the day. And before I forget, I just want to say that I really do like how my, or I really like how my makeup turned out today. Very cute. Fun. Love it. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and head out for the day. And I will see you guys soon with another new video. And I hope you guys are having a great day. And happy Monday. Bye, guys.